The average NBA career lasts around five seasons. On the edges of the spectrum are 20-year players and more common cup of coffee guys. But few with the career arc of Brandon Roy, rookie of the year, three-time All-Star, retired before the age of 30. In between, chronic knee ailments. We caught up with Roy in Seattle to talk about his short-lived stardom and his second act as a high school coach in his hometown. Down by one. Roy. Yes! Why not? An extraordinary performance by Brandon Roy. 47 points. Roy's rise among the game's elites was more meteoric than anyone knew. He was a shooting star, destined to quickly fade. You know, even that season, I started to feel some knee issues, but again, just the wear and tear. You, you never know when, when you're going to have to call it quits. By his fourth season, Roy had been picked as an all-star three times, but degenerative arthritis in both knees was quickly taking its toll. Daily treatment to get Roy on the floor could last eight hours, but the condition was rapidly deteriorating at a time his talented young Portland team should have been peaking. After surgeries to both knees, Roy missed 35 games during the 2010-11 season. With his career clock ticking, he made an inspired last stand in game four of the Blazers' first round playoff loss against Dallas. You know, I remember talking with Coach Nate and, you know, he pulled me to the side and he was just like, hey, you know, B, what's on your mind? And I just said, Coach, I don't know, you know, how, how much longer I'm gonna be able to play or how many more opportunities I'm gonna be able to play in the playoffs. And, you know, I want to I want to go out there and, and leave it out there on the court. And I think I can still help the team. Here's Roy. It's a two and it's good. You don't plan for a night like that to happen. Brandon Roy in the fourth quarter, 16 of his 22. It was just an unbelievable night. <laughs> this one feels a lot more emotional tonight, Brandon. Why? I mean, there were times I didn't know if I'd play basketball again. They said I'm going to play. I got nothing to lose. It was the last 20 point game of his career. Roy retired for a season then made a brief comeback with the Timberwolves, but played just five games. As a player, basketball was behind him at the age of 28. I always wonder how good I could have been if I never had like the, 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 the knee pains. You know, um, there were games where I think I had uh, 42 points and you know, my knee was killing me. Like I had got it drained and I still went out there and was able to perform. I just, I just knew my body couldn't do it. And it was really hard. I couldn't, I didn't want to watch basketball. And a big reason was because when I did watch games, you know, everybody just would say nice things about me. And it's like, you know, we really feel bad for Brandon Roy. And, and, and it just reminded me that I wasn't, I wasn't out there. After that, I just took my time, but I knew I wanted to get back into some form of basketball. So Roy returned to his Seattle high school, Garfield. Gave me the young B Roy, huh? <laughs> to begin his transition from star NBA player to part-time coach. I really enjoyed doing it. And I kind of hate it when they started their seasons because it was like, all right, now I'm just like the guy in the stands watching. And I knew I couldn't be the coach at Garfield, but I wanted to coach. A buddy of mine called and said, Nathan Hale job's open. And, you know, I'll be honest, I didn't know they were 3-18 and 18 when I called. <laughs> I was just thinking, hey, I, I love to, you know, you know, come look at the, you know, for the job. And it'd be, it'd be something fun for me to do. Is it really is that Brandon Roy? Is that who it is? It wasn't so much we had to convince him to come here. It was like, he, this was the position he wanted. So we're glad to have him. I was like, Brandon, you keep, you know, standing on the edge of the pool like you're scared to jump in. And I was like, you got to just jump in and, and, and take that leap of faith. So be ready because we can't have a situation where Jonte says you go up and we got that brain fart like, what do you mean go up? And they got two dudes up here and we're standing at the bottom. So Jonte, you got to be loud. I know you don't want to yell at dudes, but he's like, get up! You know, like 10 of them stood up and said, we just want to thank you for, for being here. And I just went home and I just had this real big, big smile on my face. Like, man, this is, this is rewarding. This is my first year of coaching, just being patient with them. And I tell them and I tell myself every day, stay in the moment, enjoy the moment. The moment quickly mushroomed when one of the nation's top players, Michael Porter Jr. and his younger brother, Jonte, transferred in from Missouri. The struggling Nathan Hale High program Roy inherited was suddenly a national powerhouse. He puts no pressure on us, lets us go out there and play our game. He's been at the highest level, so it's cool to pick his brain just about the little stuff about the league. At 32, 10 years after winning Rookie of the Year, Roy is having another spectacular first season. A 16-0 start earned the Nathan Hale Raiders a number one national ranking, which led to a nationally televised win over perennial powerhouse Garfield in the same gym where Roy's jersey hangs in the rafters. Number one. 
and the man wearing number one staying on top. You know, I try to remind myself, you know, every season may not be the number one team in the in the nation. It's just, it's the work we're putting into it. You guys need to stop playing with nothing to lose. And stop being scared. Quit fighting against expectations, just play. I hope that I coach long enough to where people don't remember me as a player. Your playing career, you know, will be a short time in your life. And I hope that the second part of my life will be, you know, one that is remembered of, you know, as being a, a good player. He changed his, his path and he became a, a great coach. And, and I hope that's something that I can achieve. Nathan Hale High remains highly ranked nationally, and Michael Porter Jr., who's committed to the University of Washington, is a semifinalist for the Naismith High School Player of the Year Award. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. And to see these stories again and bonus material, head to nba.com slash video slash beyond the paint.